All right, my friends. Uh, wait, which half? Uh, first half. Okay, 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 okay. It's on the Haven. Let's see. Is this the maximum quality? Unfortunately, yes. That's fine. That's fine. It's good enough. It's good enough. We can see everything. I'm going to move my camera so you can see the minimap as well. So we're going to do it like this. Can you buy a full game for reviewers or only one half? I mean, you can do two, but the thing is, those take a lot of time. This is like 45 minutes to 60 minutes of doing one, one half, you know? So typically I want to go one by one, and I also want to do contracts instead of donations, because I can always refund in case I don't feel like spending one hour right now for a VOD review, you know? I don't want to spend like the entire stream VOD reviewing, because, you know, it's, 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 it's pretty demanding, you know? All right, let's see. Uh, so you buy a Frenzy first round on defense. Okay. Preferences or, or what's going on? Because, you know, in general, um, I feel like the biggest, uh, like for, for Sova, I feel like Ghost might be one of the best options because it fits perfectly your cash and pistol round, right? And it has medium penetration, so the same as Phantom or, or Vandal, so it goes through walls better, right? How's it going, good looking? Oh, you. Oh, what a legend. Uh, specifically uh, also... Anyone, I'm just gonna dip. Specifically also because you yeah, take the angle on long, right? Like, if you if no, you plan no, on fighting on long here, Frenzy is definitely the worst choice. Because the the first bu bullet accuracy is just is just very unreliable here, right? Please don't make me eat my words. Hmm. Also true. Okay, yours in the lineup for A main. Nothing mid. Okay, you're taking the orb. I think yeah. nothing made. Wait, yeah, let's see. Let's see. see push, even. you're rotating fast. Uh, wait for us, wait for us. We're already playing. Okay, two shock dots. But you're going through B because you probably right, have a lineup shit, somewhere. I play now. I don't remember these lineups anymore. Uh, okay, never mind. Fuck it. Well, now it's too late. Like, those lineups don't really help in this case. You rush in the garage. Okay, so I feel like, one, you don't remember them. That's fine, right? Then don't use them in in, the, in the, um don't use them uh in this way that you did. We're gonna go and turn on the game as well. One second. So I go into I will go into a custom map and show you what I mean as well. One second. But let's let's finish the pistol round and then I'll and I'll show it. Lul. Backside, so bad. More backside. I like the movement though. Nice isola isolation of angles. Good arrow. I like that. Made him made certain for you to know where he is. You have no time, so you need to kill him. Oh, it was very nice attempt. Very nice attempt. But oh shit, you guys didn't see anything. Of course, of course, because I'm a fucking moron. Uh, let me show you guys as well. You rush in the garage. Pro streamer, yeah. You heard the reload. You reacted a little bit slow to this, right? This, but here you you do like a small isolation of angles, so the guy from the right didn't wasn't able to see you. This is where ghost becomes shit, right? Because it doesn't even have enough bullets. Arrow is great to isolate the angle on the sofa. I don't know what the sofa was doing, but it was very nicely done. And then you know you have no time, so you need to kill this guy fast. And this is also, you know what's funny is that the moment here you peek. Like, when you go into, into Brimstone, I feel like the reason why you're not ready to fight is because you, in your mind, you are, you know that equipping a pistol is faster, but actually Frenzy equips exactly like a Phantom or Vandal, so it takes full one second. Ghost, Classic, Shorty are all um, 750 milliseconds. So you literally peak before you were ready, right? Because your gun couldn't, w w wasn't able to shoot when, when you saw this guy. But the shock dots, right? The shock dots you basically threw for nothing, right? And the thing is, when you don't remember lineups for shock dots, don't use them this way. Use them more like um, grenades for like easy angles, you know? Uh, let me show you what I mean. 
Let me show you what I mean. We're going to go to custom map. Haven. Defenders. We're going to do the... Actually, we can do attacks anyway. Uh, group, group. Shova. Wherever they run, I will find them. Wherever they run, I will find them. What rank is this? I feel like um, probably like ascendant, low immortal. Oh, immortal, see. I believe in all of you. Like so, I let's say I'm in the myself. same position. My ult right. is ready. Let's say I'm in the same position as Importante was. So I'm retaking from A to B to going to C, right? And the thing is, the thing is, if I don't remember lineups here for uh, for the default, right? Then I save my shock darts. I mean, also, like it was already planted. Probably no one is standing in this position right anyway, right? So I'm just going to ignore it. And then when I'm going peak, uh, when I'm going here, I'm just going to try using this. Either I would just try using this, right? So you just deal damage to the guy that is hugging like the, the box, right? And if not that, I will just do basic stuff like this. This this hits fully default and it's so hard to dodge. See? Stuff like this helps. Like you can just practice those angles. Right? This is also helpful. Well, this not. But the thing is... Try using this more uh, like an actual like tool and practice with this because that will help you out. And this is why practicing your agent that you play makes sense because the best sovas are the ones that can use like the shock darts immediately without thinking and adding a lot of like shots, you know? Like you don't need fucking lineups for that shit, right? Shock dart. Right? Just practice this shit so you know where you where you're standing at, right? Like, I never did this before, but I do it three times in a game and I know exactly now where it lands, right? And when you shot the two lineups just on somewhere here, like, you have absolutely no idea if you did anything. Use them as, like, especially in pistol rounds. On pistol rounds, they can be very lethal, right? Because people typically are 100 HP, maybe they got some damage, they're very low. On full by rounds, they're not that effective, but on a pistol round, they are fucking great. Because you can literally just make a lot of pressure on people, right? You can make a lot of fucking pressure on people on their positions. Like here, look. Someone is standing in this position. Fuck him. Right? You can make a lot of pressure on players that, you know, the positions like... Or, or check the first angles. Like you're retake, retaking A, right? Because you were playing B. Look at this shit. Just make it a little bit angled, I guess. No? I guess like from here, but you don't want to be exposed. Yeah, we have to do it like this, right? No. Yeah. Like this, this, that stuff is always useful, right? Or when you're playing from heaven. There's a very easy trick when it comes to like retaking or even like stopping a plan. Let's say you're smoked off, right? You can do this. I'm pinging the right top of this, of this box, so I know where it is, right? So even if I'm smoked here, right here, I can do this. All right, so I know exactly where the box is. Right here. I'm smoked off. Doesn't Stop. matter. I know exactly where to shoot because I just shoot below the ping. And when you're playing Sovas, like I feel like you need you need to have the map open like very close to your typical keybinds. Like has to be very easy to open. You know, so you can do it on the fly to 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 ping something, you know? Alright, let's go back to the photo view. Okay, Other than that, I really like the movement and the uh and the isolations. But I don't like the frenzy. On Sova. Oh, wait. The game makes sounds. Me. Ah! <sighs> Fuck me. I 
audio. Here we go. All right, second round. Oh, you, you guys are fucked. You, you, you guys are fucked. Look, look at the ta look at the tab. You guys won't. Oh no! Wait, you guys lost this one. Never mind. I'm stupid. Oh. I don't know why I thought you, could, you wait, actually clutch this. My bad. One on one for him. One on one for I really like this arrow, but you did it a little bit too early. But I really like this arrow. I really like it. Down Typically, when you do stuff like this, right? When you do this arrow here, ahead. I typically do would do this stuff when I hear the smokes go down. That is typically a, a indicator that they are pl really planning to go, right? But you did it before the smoke, so there was a chance that they will not go. See, but this is this is the smoke here. So this is like very min-maxing, but typically the mark for me to use my own utility is the smoke. They're running off. But the arrow is great because it angles. Uh, um, it, it, its one angle one is them. indestructible for the attackers unless they're going from short, and then you have a lot of informations of players going in. Onika knew they would just commit, but I feel you. I mean, I'm gonna just explain everything. It doesn't matter if you know it or not. I'm just gonna talk about it anyway, right? Alright, those motherfuckers doesn't matter. Alright, first full buy. And you go for Odin. Okay, let's see. So you want to hold double those, I guess. But I feel like whenever you have an Odin, or like specific plan in the map, you should try telling your teammates what you're planning to do like guys i have an odin i'm going double dose i'm gonna try to like just suppressing fire today or something like that you know right here. okay that's a little bit too low the way you aim right here look this is your pink right this was your pink so that means that this is like the floor that means that the heads of players are here so when you start shooting, you shoot them in the feet, and they're not going to push forward, so they're not going to go into your crosser. So you're, you're shooting a little bit too high. Let me show you. Like, but I'm standing here, right? And I'm pinging, what was it, here. I'm aiming then in this spot. Not here. This is way too low. This is not gonna do enough damage for you to ma actually make impact. Like you need to, you need to actually aim higher. And also, like with with an Odin, I feel like the best the best angle that you can start with, um, if you go double dose, you can do this uh, with Vandal as well. Is you stand at the barrier here, you ping the same thing right here, and then from here, look, this is probably the headshot level. Like, a, like, like, in around here. And then when you start shooting from this angle, you don't have to worry about destroying the doors because the goal goes through here. And then you mow down this area. And you have better angles as well because here you shoot from like top to bottom, right? But here you shoot in a straight line. So it's harder to dodge. And also, like, if you shoot from the window for this, for this thing, right? Then this is the only angle that you can hit. With this angle, you can hit everything here. You can make Sage Dummy to check where his head is. How do you do a Sage Dummy? We will, I would have to play Sage. Just... I, then I have to fall, fall myself to die, right? And res myself. I'm coming, I'm really late now. You go up. But it only works hold when you play left, Sage, right? Hold my left! Uh, okay. So let's talk a little bit about this. So, your, op your teammate is playing C, right? I'm coming, I'm really late. 
But for some reason, he's fucking running away. I don't know why. I don't know why the omen is running away. He fucked you over. You wanted to help him. But he just fucking ran away. So I feel like for you, I know it's hard to do this because your intention is to help. But once you see the fucking omen, you should fall back as well. Like, those people just fucked you over. Literally just fucked you over. Suddenly you're the sea anchor. When the guy from sea is nowhere to be seen. Like, you can literally see him going double doors. Like, he, he fucked you over so much. Hold my left. And you're... And, and in general, your position here is definitely not good because you're, ex, like, fully exposed to big angles, right? So, I know, the omen left you, and that's not your fault, right? So this... But you need to correct yourself. So I feel like here, because he left you, the only chance of doing something is when he left, leaves you, you fucking... Ooh. What the hell? Uh, here we go. Right. Uh, you either just white swing with an ADS and just mow them down, right? And that you try to get value at least by killing one because you, you're fucking alone, so it's fucked anyway, right? You fall back if you realize that the omen left and you just drone, right? And then you have still one shock dart. Or, and this is probably the best choice, is to isolate angles again, which I know you're good at. So you go forward here, right? And then you want to isolate the angle on the left side and on the right side of the boxes, right? So you want then probably to just go on the close side left and just spam people that are coming next to you, right? So, but probably without ADS. Remember that Odin has a wind-up on ADS. Um, not one that wind-up, but like a pause before you can start shooting. This is why sh sh left-clicking with ADS is so important to understand. Because in up close, you can never ADS. Hold my left, hold my left. Could have wall banged the box since he has Odin. Yeah, hold but if if he spams the box, then that jet just has the easiest time killing him. Oh. It's not that bad if the man called he was leaving. Uh, he wasn't, so he just fucked. Look, he's fucking. This is the. He didn't use a single smoke. Look at this motherfucker. Look at this fucking motherfucker, man. This is an Omen player who's playing C, he's anchoring it, and he didn't use a single fucking smoke. Wait, what? Silence. Shadows traveling. Cover going out. Nice smokes, man. Oh, wow, you're f so fucking smart. You're definitely gonna clutch this and feel, feel like you're the best player in the universe. Holy shit, he's a... Like, it makes me angry when I see players like this. Grim likes to play long. It makes me just so fucking angry. Oh my god. I know it's Warren, so I should have left. Oh, wait, what did you say? The situation. I was hoping someone would fight with me on site, and I was Warren, so I should have left. Let's try this. You guys, what, do you need to wrap? Let us see what they have planned for us. I, um, I think I misread the situation. I was hoping someone would fight with me on site, and I was Warren, so I should have left. <laughs> wow, you didn't say yeah, anything to, to the Omen. Because, I'm impressed. Well, omen left because he was like 1 HP. What? The omen wasn't the 1 HP. You guys, what do you mean what was that? I mean... Uh... Okay, so he was 1 HP, so he literally left just because of he was fucking 1 HP. Oh my god, this is terrible players, man. Like, you're an anchor. You're, you need to anchor side, guys. Like, in general, in, in, in ranked, it's very important, right? When you guys are, are like an anchor on site, you need to realize you're an anchor on site. And if you leave as an anchor and you don't call it, then you fuck off your fuck off, fuck over your teammates. So definitely be be aware of that. HP. Um, you're zero free. Leaving enough cash for the next round. All good. You're one orb away, so there's no point in like taking the orb this round uh, unless uh, you want to uh, literally use it in a 5v5 but it would make right. sense if you get an advantage then it would make sense to risk and go for the orb Here's oh the my guy. god yeah you know there are two players there i understand the premise one mid. because the jet that like you know dashed away so she baited for you but maybe waiting a little bit more because you hear the footsteps would have been better because when he's fully running Planting, one, right? One hitting and not like one, still one. being aware that the jet can be closed because of the dash. Okay. I feel like we probably would have been better, but it's hard to but say. It's also like an eco, like, what can you do?
I got spam through the wall. Find you. No. Let's change up how we're holding. Let's Before the bird, you look 22. Let me play C. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, let's see. You have utility. I got B. Uh, by utility, I mean ultimate. Do you want me to shift for Roger's head then, or are you guys just going to wall B? Let's see what's your plan. Yeah, You guys have also one operator, so you're gonna scan a main. Yeah, I feel like, by the way, a random thought, right? But one thing that really pisses me off in ranked is when people don't take this A, a orb. Like, whoever is playing on a, a side typically should battle for the A orb. So it, what I typically do in ranked is Unless I really have to stay on A, if I have my ultimate, I swap around. And I'm probably the player that will be on A long the most, because I know that I want to take those orbs as often as possible. Revealing area. One C. Uh, I'll be C. I'm set right there, Ali. Break that dart, break that dart, break that dart. Oh, mm. Should I see? It's a little bit fucked that the jet left. Like the jet should never rotate, by the way. Like try to communicate with the with the players that are just not as knowledgeable as you, right? Our jet in this game had a fucking operator. I don't know. She um, should be like the anchor it. on on uh, a site, not you, right? But there was a moment when she left, and now she's dead. Ran up a because she's a moron. You, gotta be you know, like she, the jet doesn't understand anchoring. Like, she has an operator. Look where she stands. Where one guy could have already crossed here when you guys were just, like, over-rotating, right? Because you didn't communicate. Always try to, like, when you have two players on, on an A, only one rotates. Unless they're already on site, right? If, if people on C side, in this example, are all, like, all through this line, like, and they went onto site, then that's the moment when you, everyone rotates. But if they did not, right... Then always anchor on site. And in this case, it's like both you and Jet didn't communicate at all. So no one knew who's fucking rotating, but it definitely shouldn't be the Jet. The Jet, I don't know why she was even playing short, but she should be playing on long with the operator and just holding it, right? And then you are the guy who rotates. And also you're better for the for the for, for supporting a, a a a side because then you can still use your drone and like Arrow that you probably be ha pretty close on the on the cooldown and shit. They didn't push in though. They didn't push to garage. Yeah, old. Killed. Like there are so many options, right? But in this case, Jet is a little bit unaware because she's lost in the sauce. But you also like didn't communicate what you what you're gonna try to yeah. do, right? Three v five. Questionable if it's worth using the ultimate here, right? Really questionable if you if you if it's this like uh, maybe if 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 two of them are low and they have no heals and they have no heals maybe it would be worth but you have no idea about that, right? Also, what is the omen doing, man? On graffiti. Chamber okay, well, graffiti. Now it's nice. It's actually winnable, but unfortunately your omen is very weird and you are unaware of the situation. You're probably looking at the minimap. Probably looking at the minimap right now. Because this movement indicates, yes, I'm, I'm looking at the minimap. But in general, like, you use the ultimate for essentially nothing, right? You were close enough for that, if I'm being honest. Now, you were close enough. She did that just before you were here. So, the thing is, when they have an omen, they have a raise, they have a jet, always assume there's one guy in heaven. I thought someone was, but yeah, that's crazy. All good. Also, one thing, but... Like, Whoa. it's tough. The situation is not easy, right? But I would say... There's no point in going heaven because you're already too late. You're doing this arrow, right? To, like, help your teammates retake right now. But this shit doesn't really help because you're just still lost. Like, 
by lost, I mean you're not close to the retake players. Because it's a 3v4, they really badly need you, right? And right now, they're retaking alone in a 2v4, right? Also, this omen is baiting as fuck. Holy shit, I'm really sorry for you that I have this omen in your team. But yeah, um, a little bit lack of communication. I feel like um, this is something that we might be we might be uh, we might be focusing on. It seems like you talk more after the round than during the round. And when you play anyone, uh, but specifically Sova, you need to communicate what you try to achieve with your with your um, utility, right? It's like I'm. Um, I'm reconning for you. Go, 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 go. Or I go heaven and I go recon side. Please wait for it. Or stuff like that, right? Communicate with the with the teammates so you know so they know exactly yeah, yeah, what yeah. to expect what to expect. Also great comes for the jet when Sova is on fucking C C long. But I'm actually too pushing long A, so who the fuck knows? What the fuck is it Sova? might trip on B, 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 one B, one B. Oh, careful flanking, sir. Wait, yeah, did you buy a Guardian with no armor? Okay. Preference, I guess. How much cash did you leave for the next one? Am I stupid? Did I not see it? Fuck me. Next round? Ah, because it's stretched. 4.3 So in theory you should you could afford to buy light shields in this round If I would be you I would probably do it and buy the light shields and just be aware to not use shock darts and drone until I get a kill right Because then you're going to be able to like have a better uh gunfights like you're buying a guardian man like no armor. So so you want to long range fight, right? But long range fights here are not like benefiting you because you just die into three body shots as well, right? So you, you're fucked. With small shields you sustain four body shots before you die, right? So sorry, you have three body shots before you die in general to any gun and only hatchets kills you. And here you, you just have to essentially one tap people before it even happens. Right? Um I I wouldn't mind going for a marshal in this position with small shields, so you're also more inclined to use utility, so you can use shock darts more and shit, because you have more cash, right? But it feels like very high risk, high reward with the Guardian, because it costs so much. It's 2.2k, right? And you didn't buy armor for it. Hey, hey, hey. A lot of... And this one shock that already fucks you over, look at that. Boop. And now because of the shortage, you actually actually just half HP. So you die to two bullets. He might trip on B, 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 one B, one B. Yeah, careful flanking, Sage. They haven't pushed yet. Okay. Well, Sage just hinted. Okay, well, you guys are fucked. Last player standing. And now what's your plan? Well, there's no point in saving this, right? So you just want to go for exit kills. That that's your only goal right here. Only exit kills. The problem is, those motherfuckers. Have already so much cash is actually unreal. But they also have three ultimates, so you literally don't lose anything. So it's worth getting the exit kills and getting like one, two orbs. But you want to die to the spike anyway. Okay, so one going short. Near anyone CT. Too short. Unlucky. Unlucky, my friend. Trying ninja it. Oh, you almost got it, man! Oh, that is great. That is a victory in my book. That is the victory in my book. You almost got it. It was like half a second. Look. You are able to defuse if before the beeping. Like the high beeping, if it appears here, then you got it. then you got it. Like, but here you don't you don't you don't have it. It's like by five hundred milliseconds. Here, 
This is the moment I know that you're not going to make it because your progress bar is not on this point. Like the beeping appears around here. But it was a very nice effort and, and getting out this ultimate is a win in my book. Wait, shit is all good shit? If you're not a good shot today, don't worry. There are other ways to be useful. Yeah, there are visual cues around the 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 the, the spike, but the thing is, I don't like relying on visual cues because I want to be aware of what is happening, you know, on the map. Okay, I have a lineup for... I think this is Garden? It doesn't look like Window. Yeah, for the lobby. Yeah. So one one is going shorter, that's your Omen. Arrow didn't get anything. Two guys see, they're already on site. Jesus Christ, liked Reyna. Destroying... Okay. Destroying this arrow would definitely help you. Right? Destroying this arrow definitely helped you. Sage needed you. Like, the jet got already killed. Jeez. You got literally stopped by pushing for, uh, to get, like, crossfire with the, with the sage just because of this arrow. So, by the way, remember that you can shoot here and you will destroy this fucking arrow. It doesn't even uh, go... It doesn't even need to penetrate. Just shoot it. Like, the thing is... At least I feel like it. This is, this is the top... Uh, this is the top up. Um, fuck me. This is me looking at the at the wall from the top, okay? And the arrow flies like this, and the recon arrow hits hits the wall, and it goes. In my opinion, I think through the wall, right? And it sticks out. I think that's how it works. So that when you shoot through the wall, but the bullet doesn't penetrate because it doesn't show like the the black thing, right? I think the bullet doesn't go out from the other side, but it actually goes through the wall. And it can destroy the arrow that is inside of it. Because that's how you're able to destroy the, the recon arrows on Icebox A, even though you're not, you shouldn't be, in theory, do, do that. Because the bullet doesn't penetrate. But that's, that's how it works, you know? That's my theory on why you're able to do this. I'm not certain that it's worked that way, but it, that's my only logical explanation on this shit. Um, so yeah, essentially, you're able to shoot through here, and even if it doesn't penetrate, you're able to destroy it. And destroying this is then important because you can either take this spot and and just peek of contact of Sage, right? But she already has contact, she probably should should peek, right? You're able to destroy it and just like while running, you're able to do also a shock dart. Like, you know, just just a lob shock dart so it lands on on uh there's too many arrows. So what what I would do in this case, right? That's my opinion. Shoot the arrow, go left side. While I'm running left side, well, let's uh, let me show this. So, wow! Jesus spike. Christ! So I'm exactly in the same position, right? Shock dot. I mean, sorry. Recon arrow. I try to destroy it. Reaction. Go like this. Do this. Go here. And just help the sage. That will be my reaction here. Right? Like this. Try to help the sage. Or, the other option would be... Probably better. Because you know that one guy was in uh, this spot. But you're gonna be a little bit late. Right? So you destroy this. Do this. And then isolate the angles here. Hopefully this opponent is still here. Because the sage is in the spot. And he didn't cross to this side. Right? And then you try to kill this guy. And then you probably just have to like make a 50-50. That you peek into like three players. Or not. And try to kill them. Or if the guy on side dies. Right? And the, if the sage kills her or you kill her. Then that's the moment to do this drone ping. Cancel the drone. Right? And then go back to you. Right? And just try to fight. Maybe use the second shock dart. Like, probably using a shock dart also like this. Oh, sorry, not like this. Bouncing it once. Like this is probably even more effective than doing a lob, right? Because they don't see it exactly. Right? If I do this like this, 
I know, I'm not a I'm not a server player, right? So I, I have absolutely no clue how to do it effectively. But that's something that you need to practice as a server to do those like stuff like this, so it lands in the spot that you wanted. I would li like to land it here, right? So you know, like almost, right? To do this like pressure pressure situations with those shock tests, they don't do much, but they will help you a little bit, you know. Alright. Cars liked Reyna. Because right now you didn't do anything while holding the side. And you're like fucked. Oh, okay. 120 to Reyna. Jet in garage. How is this Omen always last alive is actually crazy. <laughs> I would have gone to the right because there's always one player that wants to kill backside. The thing is. We already knew position of one of one opponent. Uh, oh my god, he just TP'd and make noise. This uh, unreal man. Oh my god, dude, this is this is like a guy, this omen that was watching too many like YouTubers and like TikTokers, and just wants to be like this guy that clutches like some unreal fucking situations, you know. I cannot place you with you. In in two retakes, he didn't use even one smoke on the actual fucking spike. He just used it for some weird off angles and like very obvious stuff that then never almost never work, specifically also when you step. Yeah, I mean smoke smoke went out, please. Yep. Standing ahead. C line. Again, you go for the Guardian no armor. Are you in a similar spot when it comes to cash? Yeah, you choose this deliberately. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It's like... I understand you're taking the gunfights yeah, on the CNA. Up, but I really feel like just going for a Bulldog armor... And like selling maybe a shock dart or like, ahead. See line. dude, this 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 is like so high risk, so so low uh, reward. I would say, sorry, so high risk, so high reward. I don't know, man. I it, I I feel like it's it's personal like preference. I can see when it works, but in most cases it probably won't, right? And you're just buying a little bit more expensive sheriff, so it's like okay. Right, and I know it's very, very high, uh, very high preference, right? But when I am on low buys, right, then take this with a grain of salt. This is me playing the game, not him, right? So we can have different like stylistics, uh, stylistic, um, different styles, right? Not stylistic differences would be weird to say after the same differences. Um, so when I'm on low buy on heaven. I'm just buying probably a Bucky and I'm sitting in in, uh, in double doors, or a Judge and I'm sitting in double doors, right? Or I sit with a Bucky or, or a Judge in short, or and then I can rotate like between two positions that make me certain that if they're pushing A, I can have some like early impact. So I either sitting in short right here, right? Here, 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 if they smoked off here, right? But then I can always go like this around the box, and I have the contact on the A players coming from long. And I try to just always go for like consistency in low buy rounds rather than just getting, you know, lucky headshots that can happen. Like I'm 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 thinking as a Sova player, you should be using your drone uh way more, but it's super expensive, right? But by buying guardians, you essentially fucking over your uh <laughs> your uh your utility usage a lot because then you're not able to spam it right i know that you like the high pen high pen but guardian uh, sheriff kind of gets you the same right almost the same sorry nice shot though well you got two kills you're on five hp you won because of the guardian good job but it was like, fuck me close, right? 
We can save some Yeah. You probably would have gotten those two kills with 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 the sheriff as well, right? Maybe not the jet. Maybe she hard to say. Okay, never mind. Scratch that. Hard to say. Because the damage on the jet was 130, maybe she didn't have 110. So, Portante buys the Guardian because of the high pen, essentially, right? But Sheriff also has the high pen, if that's the logic, right? But I don't know, man. Like, lack of shields is just, for me, is like a big thing. Like, you, 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 you're more inclined to just get one bullet off. I would buy full shield and sheriff. I think that is that's a yeah, huge mistake. Okay, both you leave a... If you go for for one bullet and sh and sheriff, you, your omen is a moron. Holy shit! Um, sorry. If you buy sheriff and full full armor, garage or grass, grass. Uh, dude, your team is just fucking trolling. That's insane. Um, yeah, last one was a. Last one was a. If your team, uh, sorry, if you buy full shield and sheriff, window, there's a very window, high window. chance that you're not gonna get any kind of um, any kind of utility is. overall. Yeah, just... window, By the way, say. mechanical mistake here. Don't do those jumps with with the sova. Like you actually, I see so many people die on Silong because of that. You jumped into the open. You got lucky that there's the sage wall, but you you jumped out in the open. One right here. Yeah, last one was A. Last one was A. In window, in window, window outside window. window. Seeing? You're like literally fucking exposed. Speaking now. You, your yeah, arm would have been visible. Yo, just, just bait, just, just okay, rest his body, rest his body and bait it. I have error, I have error if you want to do that. He's out, he's out, he's out. He's towards mid. Ahead. He's in front of B main. Front B. You can res him now, you can res him. Just res? What the fuck is the sage doing? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my no, no, no. Peek, 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 peek. You fucked up. You fucked up. Like, you were so f ultra focused on using the shock dots. The moment this guy reses, right? Res him now. You can res him. He, this, is, this is the first moment you should, you, you should use the shock dot. Look. You hear the reload. This is the cue for you to shock dot this. Just like... Just shoot it here. No bounce, just equip and shoot. Because the chamber reloads. So you know he's not gonna peek. So you can deal chip damage by just shock darting this, this angle, like this. Right? So then he gets like 20 damage or something, and it also makes him a little bit anxious, makes him go away, right? So you get more time to for the res. But right now you are you are late because of that. And now he this is the moment where he's gonna peek, and you're not helpful to the team right now. So when you're when your teammate is rezzing, this, this is the moment when you should be have a gun already out. And you should be swinging right here. You waited so long, you see? Window again. Window, window. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is entire team like, wh holy fuck. Now it's lost. He can be anywhere. He took the spike. He's through double doors. So there's most likely most likely B planned. Never mind. He went C. Okay then. You can use you can use the ultimate to stop them from planting. Ah, you heard him. And now he's CT. Right, CT or behind the box. Behind him, yeah. <laughs> oh, now he can be backside on the left side. Oh, you heard him on the right, okay. Oh, no. Nice. Well, you clashed it, but... Yeah. The, the, the not peeking when your Sage was uh, rezzing was the biggest mistake. Relo uh, using the shortcut when he's reloading is like min-maxing, but... It, it is something that you get into your habits, right? When you play Sova a lot. And here, like, I, I honestly believe that not using the ultimate over here was a mistake. Like, this is the moment when you when you just ult. Like, you know exactly where he is. You hear that he's planting default or behind default, right? Like, and it's six seconds. You ult, 
you get the one tag and then he's just jumping fucking around and he's maybe dead and if not dead then he's one bullet essentially right because he he for sure someone hit him right Oof. oh we're fucking working for these ones huh I think I think the I think the the arrow is fine. Um, I think the arrow is fine. The recon arrow, like he isolated a lot of angles for himself. But in general, like this this round, the previous round was so fucking fucked up by the entire team is actually unreal. People overpeaking. This this is why I don't like Haven. Like people are just overpeaking for no fucking reason. Like you, you have no idea if anyone's here, right? Like you have zero idea if anyone's here. It's just bang, like you're just gambling here, right? So when think about it, this ultimate could have probably like 99% guarantee you a win next round, uh, less round, right? But here you don't wait for contact on A long. So you don't know if someone is pushing. So it's just like a gamble. It can work. It, it can literally have zero impact as well. They're coming A, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're coming A. Nice arrow. I really like this. This is like efficiency. When you... Okay, so... This is a very important one, I think. Your lack of comms when you're droning and using util is actually hurting you and your teammates a shit ton. If you didn't say a single word of what you're doing right here. You have both players here or one? Wait. That's Jet. Okay, only Jet. Right? Only Jet... And when you're droning here, you don't see her, I would instantly say she can be like, she can be in the smoke or something, right? She was in the smoke, but you can draw the conclusion because of the position that she had, right? But you're you're not saying anything. That's a big issue in general. Eh, stay it. Stay it. You, you could have stayed there for like more three seconds, I guess. Maybe she would peek. But then you're fucked if she if she goes heaven like five seconds later and then you have to actually then never mind. Yeah, I think jump down was okay here, so you can reposition. But the problem is The problem is you are very slow with this reposition here. So she can take the spike already, right? That's something that you need to be aware of, and she has time to rotate if she took it. Now it depends on how efficient that guy is. But you lost the control of the, of the of the spike for like a very long time, left. and you have no idea where he is, right? So I'm not a fan of this rotation. I know that this was your plan, the making, and it's fine. But we can vote review this. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, what? He's just baiting. Like there's no way he he did stuck it. Yeah. Good job. But in general, like you had absolutely no idea what's happening on the site, right? So. The thing is, when you're on site here, Spike. like this, right? You know that she's CT or heaven. So what you can do, is you have shit ton of options, right? You know that he has to go for the spike. You know that if he's in CT, he probably doesn't have the time to like go through here and flank you. Like... He would have to be super fast. And if you're standing in graffiti, you're probably going to hear him. Uh, not probably, but you're going to fucking hear him if he runs up mid. So you're going to know about this. So standing in graffiti essentially makes it like 99% certain that you're going to have contact. And you just go for a 50-50, right? Because he's going to have to peek into you. Either from CT or from heaven, right? So then you have like 100% certainty that you're going to have contact and you just go for the for the fight. 
if you stand um stand under heaven like in this position here to just look ct then there's a chance that the guy might drop down from heaven and you will not be aware and he will get lucky all right but the point is you you have 100 percent control of the situation in your situation you are very uncertain of the outcomes there is spike all right because the spike is on on long here in this spot this is the spike and this guy doesn't have the time in my opinion to go through this entire thing with it, like making noise so you're gonna be aware of it so i think banking on contact is more important than just uh rotating like too long but you know like you won the gunfight but there was a very high chance you would have absolutely no idea what's going on on the side There's an op in spawn. There's a little far there. Nah, I feel like he would spend too much time clearing the site for the spice. I could make the rep, but I feel you. It's just about, like, you know, also personal preferences, right? I can buy one. You want the clutch. You kind of read him. But that guy could have played so much differently than you would have predicted. That it's not like... Um, you have like a 50-50, essentially. Not a 50-50, but it's, there's a chance that you will have no idea what's going on on this side. Right? I don't know how to hear that. That's just gonna hold W. What a joke of a game. One window. Um, that that's also like a very small note. But when whenever a chamber has an ultimate and I have no clue where he is, I never jump peek. It's so easy to die. I feel like I, you are exposed again from this angle, if I'm not mistaken. Silver window. Yeah, you were exposed. You were you were. Grass. You were exposed, look. This is the second time in one match when you're exposed. When you're droning, right? That's probably something that you need to work on. Silver window. One window. One grass. There was chamber. I'm lucky. Yeah, this, this, this recon arrow. Your, your team is not ready for retake, by the way. So I'm not a fan of this. It doesn't matter that you missed it. Like, it doesn't matter. I just don't like the um, the moment that you used it. Did you plan on retaking? Did you plan on going in? If yes, then you got stopped by the by the arrow. Then I can understand. But you also didn't communicate. Could be in. Silver window. One window. In like the high pressure moments, I feel like you just don't talk. See, like. You just use it without saying anything. What's the purpose of this arrow, right? You need to think about that. If the purpose is to rush in on site with the arrow, then you definitely need to communicate that. And if the reason for the arrow is just to use it to maybe scare people and you never want to run in, then it, there's no purpose on using this arrow because you need it for retaking. You 100% need it for retaking, clearing like backside, for example. or Yeah, I would probably clear backside. Feeling area. Okay, okay. I'll swing with you. They have Brimo, they're playing the Brimo. Alright, one more. Mm. One enemy nice. <clears throat> Sorry, voice that crack. Is. He's Brimo, I think. Dude, that bug was it's terrible. Alink, Alink, how's my gun now? We got that. Well, they go half. Um, oh. one very hypercritical yeah, thing. Yeah. When you're yeah, running in on the side here, like, you have two people behind you, right? Oh, Crouching here is probably never the play, or, like, standing still. Like, you need to make a little bit more space for the teammates yeah, behind you, right? So I would just essentially yeah, run in. Did you crouch here? I feel yeah, like you crouched. Or was that just the dead death animation? Yeah, you started crouching. Right? Being a little bit more mobile would probably save your life. Nice, one more. One enemy remaining. Nice. But that's about it. Like, it's very, very hypercritical. Like, when I, when I run in as the first player, I try to make a little bit more space than that by just, like, nice. overrunning, essentially. Overpeaking, you know? Uh, but in general, was, um, yeah, the retake was okay. You got traded, you got the kill. Nice cross placement. But the thing is, like, you... 
That recon arrow was, was very big, right? What elo is this, by the way? It's uh, immortal. Uh, revealing area. Last round. Found the I would buy a shorty here. But I'm a fan of shorty. Yeah, so double angle. Okay. Yo, clown hacks. By the way, I'm sorry for. I, I, I can't remember if I thanked you for the gifted sub, clown hacks. I'm so sorry for missing that. Last round, by the way. Absolutely no point in taking this orb. Absolutely no point. You're risking, like, not risking, but let's like. Just rotate faster. You are four out of eight. You would need to get three kills. To use it on the last player alive right or the two players alive and um and in this case when you use this arrow you can just literally run it down right here instead of taking the orb right or rotate faster a lot you have you all never mind there's three there Okay. Oh, it bounced from the fucking back angle back there. Back. That's unlucky as fuck. One back one, I think. Back one. Yeah. Did you hear someone here? One in B. Okay. And he gave him for about it. Garage, 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 and on plat. This omen is. Oh my god, this omen just ends. No, no, it's not wall. What are you talking about? Wall fell. Spike planted. One enemy nice. remaining. Nice aim. Good job, good job for repositioning from the arrow. Um, but... Fuck me, man. Did you hear someone on B? One back. Back flat, back flat. One back flat, I think. Back flat, back flat. The, tra the, the trap was there, okay. One back flat, I think. Back yeah. Okay, okay, no, 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 it's all good, all good. You played that well. Remaining. You played that one. The shock that uh, the shock that was just unlucky. The shock that bounced from this little shit here. Like it went. Boop, boop. Sometimes that shit happens. Unfortunately, th this should have no textures. Like in my eyes, um, Valorant should rework a lot of the textures so they don't count as collusion collision, because this shit is just annoying. You know, like it's super fucking annoying to this yeah, random yeah. shit. Yeah. Alright, so let's let's sum it up. I feel like the the biggest the biggest problem for you is not communicating enough. I'm not sure if it is it's like playing initiators your main thing, or is it just you know, you played it because you played it. I think the biggest thing is 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 definitely the, the communications. Mm. Like um that when you when you try to retake, when you try to initiate something, you don't communicate with your teammates, you have an issue with making certain or or making sure that your teammates will know when to expect the support utility from the server. Right? Um a little bit of the min-maxing of economy, I feel like it's something that could have also could be also worked with. Like the Guardian no armor, I feel like if you do this in a lot of games, then I don't know. It's 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 a very high risk, high reward, right? But it's highly inefficient when it comes to economy. Um, on Breeze, I can definitely understand why would you do that, right? But at the same time, then you die to a triple body shot, and on Breeze, that's highly probable that it will happen, right? Hmm. And uh, other than that, I like your movement. I like the uh, I like the angles that you isolate yourself in, in clutches. I feel like you're way better at actually clutching the game and like being a player that plays alone than um, being a team player. From what I've seen from this one half, right? This is very small sample size, but there were many instances when you had like you were hesitant when to help your teammates or how to help your teammates because you were worried more about yourself or you were not 
um, instantly thinking about how using your utility to be efficient with your gunplay. When things slow down, I'm way more comfortable. Yes, that's definitely visible. That's definitely visible. Like the moment like with, with the Sage and Jet battling on Seaside and you don't destroy the recon arrow, so you were stuck in CT, I think was the biggest, um, biggest uh, takeaway. Like that round was really badly played from a perspective of like, of like min-maxing, right? Your comms definitely need work. I, I think I need to make a guide for comms. I'll be honest with you guys. I, I need to stop being lazy and record one. Do um, you have any questions, Portante? I feel like I come a lot, but not enough in the heat of the moment, like you said. So, take this with a grain of salt, because I am communicating a shit ton, right? Uh, but I don't think you communicate a lot. I think you actually communicate a low amount, from like a very high standard, right? Um, but you definitely don't communicate when it's the most important to communicate. Like the moment when you retake, the moment when you start taking space, the, the moment you start droning, it's like you need to fucking start talking, right? Um, if you want to, let's say, if, if you want to know how to communicate while droning, pay attention to how I communicate when I'm ulting with Yoru. I'm not saying I'm always doing it correctly, but whenever, especially when I'm in a good mood, when I'm doing the Yoru ult, I'm fucking talking about everything. Like, I'm just literally talking about everything, like... Close, close left, clear, close right, clear, uh, no one backside, uh, there's uh, one guy, yellow, uh, looking at you, stuff like that, you know? Like, you try to build a description, a visual description of what you see in your, in your teammate's mind. Think about it this way. You want your teammates to build a picture from your words. Right? That's what you want to achieve. You don't, you don't want them to think about it. You want them to you, you want them to build it with their imagination by default. That's where good descriptions are, are so important, you know? I get nervous to come that much sometimes because it might make my teammates lose focus. Well, if you're over-communicating, that can happen. But if you're efficient with your communications and cleared, well, then it will never happen. And only, ba or only bad people will be affected by that anyway. So, shouldn't care about that anyway. Good players will, will only benefit from that, 